Hey guys, it's Drew Geraci coming at you with a helpful trick to view the performance playback metrics for Adobe Premiere Pro CC. Uh, you may have seen videos that show the FPS render overlay during some video breakdowns. Linus over at Linus Tech Tips does this all the time, uh, so I wanted to show you the quick and easy way to access this overlay, uh, which Adobe doesn't seem to want people to use because it took me almost 30 minutes to find an article that actually showed how to do it, but I'm going to show you how to do it now, and it's super easy and super quick. Uh, the first thing we want to do is we want to open up Premiere Pro, and then on your keyboard, you're going to want to hit Control Shift plus F11. Really easy, really simple to do. When you first do this, nothing is going to happen on your screen. And then you're going to come yelling at me saying, Drew, it didn't work. But the last step to make this overlay appear um, is actually kind of silly. The only thing you have to do to make it appear is to minimize and then maximize your Premiere Pro screen. And then, uh, you know, voila, you'll be able to see the overlay. And you can do the same technique to remove and add it to the screen. So every time you want it to remove or add, you're going to have to do Control Shift plus F11. And then you'll minimize and then maximize your screen and then it'll appear or disappear. The overlay is really helpful, um, especially if you're having performance issues on your machine and you wanna see how the machine is handling the footage that you're using. So as you see here, we can scrub through all the different footages I have. Um, I'm using ProRes, I'm also using um, long op format, uh, MP4. So you'll be able to see if there's any drop frames. And if we hit the playback button here, uh, we can see that we're not getting drop frames right now, but uh, as soon as I hit play, we are getting at least one drop frame. And this display overlay will actually tell you um, all the information you need to know. So um, if you do see this, generally speaking, you only get to see the yellow tab over here that tells you um, that you're dropping frames. Um, this is actually going to give you a little more detail into that, and you can actually find out where that's happening. Um, overall, you really don't want to have any drop frames, but um, at least this shows you um, how many and where you're having them at. So it's kind of a great overlay to have. This is incredibly helpful to editors so you know if what you're actually viewing is playing back in real time or not. That's it for now, but if what you saw was helpful, please like and subscribe for more awesome content. And as always, happy shooting.